All right, today I'm going to be reading to you from Mother Goose. Just kidding. This is <laughs> Human Movement Potential um, by Lulu Swigard. This is a technique that uh, Lulu Swigard, who's a movement person, came up with. It's called idiokinesis. Idiokinesis combines two roots, idea or image and movement. And over the next little while, I'm going to be bringing this in every now and then. That I really like these images. These are images that you can use in your body to help release what doesn't need to be there. What I really like about these is that it can bring your body into better balance quite easily and quite quickly. <clears throat> the way you use these images is simply to visualize them in your body. You don't want to help the movement, to visualize the movement muscularly, because that, that will actually stop the release from happening. So it's kind of a, a tricky thing. You just visualize it, and if it's not working for you, well, it doesn't always work for everybody. Not everybody is really great with, with visualizing. But sometimes, if it's not working for you, it's because you might be subtly trying to help the movement. So the first series of images here have to do with the, the, the empty suit. So you're going to imagine that your body is kind of like a suit with a jacket and a collar and a belt and trousers, <clears throat> and that your feet are like tassels uh, or, or like a bunch of strings together. And so there's several of these images that I will read out to you. So we're going to start with the trousers here. So visualize uh, the upper part of the, oh, excuse me. So, so actually we're going to visualize first that your knees are held up by an, a hanger, a clothes hanger, uh, suspended from the ceiling. <coughs> and, oh, excuse me. <coughs> so uh, uh, with that hanger in mind, you watch the upper part of the trouser leg, the thigh, collapsing together as the knee is supported over the crossbar of the hanger. So the top part of the empty trouser leg meets the bottom part of the empty trouser leg, the thigh, because it's hanging on the, the coat rack. So you just imagine that movement. Imagine the fabric softly coming together. <coughs> You might try that a couple of times, imagining the fabric collapsing over the hanger, coming together. Second image is to watch the crosswise crease at the hip joint sinking to rest on the empty seat of the trousers. So this is your the crease at your hip joint. You're visualizing, not helping, but visualizing the fabric sinking to rest on the empty seat of the trousers, noting particularly the sinking of the inner edge of the crease. Next one is the trouser leg happens to be twisted to the outside from the knee to the level of the hip joint, which means that the long crease, which should be at the mid front of each thigh, is likewise twisted to the outside. Watch the trouser leg being twisted inward across the front of the thigh until the long crease is on the mid front of the thigh, that is in line with the knee and the center of the hip joint. <clears throat> so again, these trousers have a crease that should go on the front, but it starts out on the sides. And you simply visualize the 
crease coming back to where it should be in front. Watch the bell-shaped lower trouser leg sagging together in folds that are flimsy. Imagine their looseness. The foot is a tassel made up of different lengths of thread or yarn, longer towards the toes, shorter at the heel which are tied together around the top at the level of the ankle joint. The circular binding around the ankle is loose, allowing the inside vertical strings to fall inward away from the center of the ankle. Now, visualize the circular binding tightening to draw the vertical threads on the inside of the tassel towards the center of the ankle joint. The strings start loose, falling away inwards. <clears throat> and you imagine the binding around them tightening so that the loose strings on the inside move in towards the center of your ankle. There are a couple more for the legs here, and then we'll call it a day. The seat of the trousers has many vertical wrinkles, making it look as though it were accordion pleated. Watch these pleat-like wrinkles being smoothed away from the center outward to produce a much broader seat. As a note here, uh, Lulu Twigard says, this will not give you a broader seat, but often repeated, it will give you a better hip line. Pay special attention to the center pleats, which are the deepest and most firmly set, and therefore need the most smoothing outward. that the seat of the pants has width and no longer pulls the trouser legs into a twisted position, watch again the sinking of the crosswise crease at the level of the thigh joint. And also the trouser leg being twisted inward across the front, preparatory to closing the zipper. You are now ready to watch the closing of the front zipper of the trousers. This is hampered, however, by trouble at the lower end of the zipper, where all the difficulties you have ever experienced with zippers are combined. <coughs> Stay with it in your imagination, not helping the zipper muscularly, but just visualizing it being stuck. Stay with it until you finally see the troubles overcome and the zipper slowly sliding up the midfront to bring together the two sides of the trousers. Just visualizing, not helping. Finally, to complete the movements to be visualized in the trousers, Watch the belt buckle sinking to rest on the back of the coat. <laughs> 